Mellow greetings, Tubians, Ron and T here, and let's fanfic Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town. I think I'm getting better at this. Don't want to jinx myself here, but a few things have come out looking like they're actually meant to. Even Gramps has stopped yelling at me as much. Don't get me wrong, he's still doing it all the time. But now there's a few minutes here and there where he's just watching. He still makes me do everything over again, but he's not just telling me to do it all better next time. Maybe something's actually starting to sink in. Part of it might be because of my secret projects. I've been keeping up my practice, trying to make some small things here and there when Gramps isn't looking. I've worked out how to set gems into metal, and I can do some pretty involved small-scale work. It's not the kind of thing that needs to be used much in a rural place like this, but who knows? Maybe someday somebody will ask for a really fancy wedding ring or something. I've made two pieces that I feel pretty good about. Put a couple of brooches together and done a bit of fluting around the edges that I think looks pretty good. They're not masterpieces or anything, but I'm not too far off professional quality. I know exactly what I'm going to do with them, too. There are two people who have stood by me through the last couple of months while I've been working through all this stuff and who have helped me work, th work out how I'm feeling. The therapist doesn't count. I've barely needed to see her since we got through the court-ordered sessions. Marie. Marie has given a lot of her trust in letting me read her book. And Brenna? Well, Brenna has had a huge amount of faith in me ever since which she moved to town. The least I could do for them is give them a little something in thanks. I'm not sure how they'll feel about the jewellery, though. I've never seen Marie wear anything at the library, but she seems like the kind of person who'd like to have it around for special occasions. Brenna spends all day working in the dirt. Will she even be into wearing stuff like this? I'll have to work out a subtle way to ask her before I give it to her. Grandpa should probably get something too, but given he doesn't even know I'm making these, it's probably not the best choice for him. He can have the first tool that I make that he doesn't criticise as soon as it's out of the forge. Yeah, that'll do it for him. Winter 3rd, Year 1, Monday, Sunny. Well, the day started off on an... Oddly encouraging note, actually. Grey stopped by. And Grey, of all people, I, I know everybody knows I live at the farm, but he's never been here before. I wasn't 100% sure he knew where it was. Although, now that I think about it, it's kind of in the middle of the south of everything. Huh. You're a bit of an idiot sometimes, Bren. Hmm. Anyway, Grey stopped by, and he was all cute and blushy and he it turns out he's been secretly making jewellery on the sly I don't know if Saibara knows but he decided that he wanted to give me a piece that he made that he actually thought was fairly decent I was well I was a little bit shocked honestly and I know we've been friendly and and I've been trying to be supportive of him. I, I see how his grandfather treats him and nobody needs that sort of pressure in their life, really. But... Hello! It was really sweet. And he was so cute when he was blushing and he handed it over. And I, I don't really have a lot of opportunities to wear jewellery while we're digging around on the farm, but I've put it on display on my shelf and if I ever get a day off... <laughs> And get dressed up fancy, I'll I'll be sure and be wearing it. It was it was such a sweet gift. And I'm really glad to see him investigating or no, that's not the right word, uh, uh putting time and effort into the things that he wants to do within the forge, not just the things that his grandfather says he has to. I think that's pretty amazing. And it is an absolutely gorgeous brooch. Set with some sort of red stone. I, I don't know if it's a garnet or a ruby. And this 
really intricate fluting and filigree work around the edges. It's just, oh. He could sell this in the city and make more than a few dollars. A few Gs. We don't have dollars. I've been watching way too much random television, clearly. Huh. Anyway, after he left and I set the brooch in a safe place, where I can see it every night before I go to bed, <laughs> I started my normal chores. So it was ten the animals, and then it was ten some more animals, and then there was some more tending of animals. Ah, the beauty of winter where I don't have to worry so much about crops and stuff. <sighs> Admittedly, by spring I'm going to miss it and I'm really going to be wanting to get out there and water things and grub around in the dirt without my fingers freezing off. And After that I did the rounds. I went and checked out the forage. I said hi to Jennifer. Chopped up some wood. Um, I've decided I've got to shift focus slightly on my project. Uh, the coop in the barn I definitely, definitely really want. I, I want to get those upgraded so I can have more animals. But I also want to upgrade the house. And I figure of the three, the house is going to be the largest project. So I should probably get that one done first. Gather materials towards that. Because it's going to take like twice as much as either the coop or the barn. So if I focus on getting that done, and then I can reset my focus and get the coop in the barn done, we'll be cruising, you know, all in one. Uh, while I was out gathering, I ran into Brandon and gave him his favourite orange, and I went into that little mine that's opened up in the middle of the lake. Uh, the gem mine, I'm not sure if... Did I write about that? Oh, yeah, I did. So, yeah, I, I just, you know mucked around in there. I wasn't really seriously looking for much of anything. I just yeah, I was wandering past and thought I'd break a few rocks. I made offering. I came home. I did some cooking. I did my social butterfly rounds. Went and saw everybody. I think Jennifer may suspect I'm stalking her at this point as she showed up at like four places I was today. Or maybe she's stalking me. Huh. I really hope not, and that was definitely not my intent. Um, after I stopped and saw everybody... Uh, yeah, no, not a lot of excitement happened. I did get to see Cliff working at Dukes, that was really nice. Um, it, it's good to see him engaged and engaging. I did go to the store and I picked up some provisions for my cooking. I'm running a bit low on a few things and... Just wanted to make sure that I had enough basics to be able to cook whatever it is that I want, whenever it is that I want to cook it, you know? Stocking up, as it were. And I may have put a bunch more chocolate. I don't know why I'd spend so much money on chocolate. I'm not the one who ever gets to enjoy it. I'm too busy giving it to other people. I really should do something for me. And this is winter. I should be indulging myself a little bit more, yeah? Yeah, no, I really should. Absolute indulgences. And that's been about it. it it's just been a... very positive, light, easy day. I come... I, I've, I've always been a summer child, I've always preferred the warmer weather, but I'm beginning to feel like living here, living this life, winter is going to be my favourite. Yeah. It probably will be. Anywho, it's uh, sunny tomorrow again, Journal. I'm heading off to bed. Night. Winter 4, Year 1. Tuesday. Sunny. And another morning starting with another random visit journal. It's My doorstep gets really busy at 6am. It's kind of disturbing when you think about it. Why are so many people getting up so early to camp out on my doorstep, particularly in the freezing cold? And I can almost kind of understand it in the warmer months. It's a really nice place just to sit and 
enjoy the sounds and the, the feel of the farm, but that's me on, on my land. Anyway, uh, Mr. Muji stopped by. He wanted to check up on Ryan. I, I guess he we've hit his, I, I think it was uh, three seasons, he said at the start. He, he wanted me to raise Ryan for three seasons and then he would come in and check and and take him away. And I was I was really sad when I saw it was him and and he asked to see Ryan because I thought I thought you know he's gonna take my friend away from me and and I really don't want that. But instead, Journal, he declared that Ryan was now big enough to ride and said that, that clearly the two of us had bonded and that I'd treated him really, really well and that he'd grown up really big and strong and amazing and and that I could keep him. So, Ryan really is mine. All official and everything. And not only that, now I can ride him. I, I have no idea how to ride a horse. I read some instructions, things about pinching with your knees so that you don't fall off, and I don't even own a saddle or know where to buy one, there's not exactly a leather works or a tannery in town. Uh, Ryan and I'll work it out. We'll, 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 we may have given it a small try, I didn't fall off, but it was one of the most uncomfortable experiences of my entire adult life. Just too used to luxury, I guess, I I really, I just sort of sat on his back and rode him around the barn just a little bit, just a slow trot around the barn, because I figured that way there'd be lots of hay bales, and if I fell off, it, it, it wouldn't hurt as much. But I didn't fall off. I managed to mount and dismount, and then I gave him some brushes to say thank you, and he gave me that look that said, what the hell are you doing? It was, it was an experience. It was a moment. Um, I attended the animals as ever, as, as one does, tended chores and things. Sorry, I'm a little bit overexcited about my first ever horse ride. Admittedly, it was like a three second horse ride, but it was still my first and that was kind of cool and fun. Kind of very cool and fun. I did get a letter from, um, Jeff to say that there was a new tool available at the store. Uh, store's closed today, so I'll have to remember to go pick that up tomorrow. Uh, after that, it was the usual round of foraging and gathering and chopping and smashing. Which was fun. I, I enjoyed that. It, it was... I really need to work on gathering these materials faster. I should not have slacked off so much in relation to it. But over the last couple of seasons, I've just been so busy taking care of all the crops because I've got to stop over planting but I like having a lot of everything because that way I've got stores for later and I've I've got a way to you know keep going and survive winter that was that was my base goal but now I realize that maybe well really I should have diversified my efforts a lot and I had a lot of wasted time that I could have used going fishing um, which would have given me a source of food it would have given me some income I've I've barely lifted my fishing rod since that gave me gave it to me and I've got to fix that. I could have spent some of that spare time. I've got a couple of hours in the evening most days, chopping wood, breaking up rocks, heading down the mines to to update, um, get more ore and stuff. It's just I clearly need to diversify my my interests and my intents a bit if I'm going to achieve everything that I want to achieve. You know. Uh, I did do some socialing, I went saw Grey, I saw Popery and everybody and I stopped in at Mr. Muji's farm because I wanted to thank him about Rayan and while I was there I decided to splurge a little bit and I bought an alpaca and his name is Neppy and he is the most adorably fluffy thing I have ever seen and it's alright. Babs has nothing to worry about. Babs always has a solid place in my heart, but Neppy is just so gorgeous. He is just a floof with feet. It's so fantastic. Uh, while I was there, I also bought what I needed to get 
Mugu pregnant because we need a new little calf. Um, it's basically the same theory that I read about with the chickens. Uh, that you know, the the more I've raised, that the more that that have been born in my barn, as it were, the stronger the bond will grow between me and the animal. And I definitely need to make sure that that I am strengthening those bonds so that my animals are getting the best out of life. I needed to wait because well, it takes a bit longer with a cow than it does with a chicken, and I'm really attached to Moo and. I've only got space to have one pregnant animal at a time, so I really needed to make sure that this was a good time, and I figured doing it early winter, where she's not going to be going out and traipsing around the yard much, doing it when I can be hand-feeding her and checking in on her every day, it's probably one of the better times. It's I don't have to worry about operating four or five different schedules for all of the different animals. I can just focus on making sure that she's well cared for, that she's fed, she's got a warm place to curl up, all of that sort of stuff. Uh, so I ran home and I greeted Neppy and I gave Mugu the magic potion and now she's pregnant. Yay! Not really sure how that works, kind of like Pokemon I guess. Just one day there'll be a calf there and I won't know how it happened. Uh, after that I headed down the mines. And I mined, and I mined, and I mined, and I even mined a bit. Uh, in the end I only made it down like three floors this time I think. I really should have taken more food with me but that third floor is just huge man. It takes forever to try and find the way down. I. Again, I don't know how deep this mine is or how far I have to go to get what I need, but I need more gold so I can start upgrading things, and it just... I've not found a vein till now, so clearly I need to go deeper. Uh, after the mining, I stopped. I soaked for a bit because, you know, I was covered in dust and really, really sore. And then I came home, and I put stuff away, and... That's that's basically been my day. It's I did break up some rocks on the field. That was fun. I really want to upgrade my hammer and my axe as quickly as I can. And now that I'm focusing on getting all of this stuff and upgrading the house and Yeah, I got to do it. Um it's going to be snowy tomorrow. Uh, heavy snow, apparently. I, I don't know what that's going to mean, but it should be fun. Uh, oh, it was cooking day, so I learned how to cook stew from the cooking channel. That that was also awesome. And that's really all I've got, Journal. I'm going to go snuggle up in bed, because it's really, really cold in here. I don't have a heater or a fireplace or anything. It's just... Hard work and blankets, that's all I got to keep warm with. Night, Journal.